What's up you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. We have another studio vlog today and I am so excited to share it with you. Today I'm going to be doing a ton of market prep for my first in-person market West Coast Craft in San Francisco and I am going to be busting ass in this vlog to make everything I can for the market and show up with a ton of stuff and not humiliate myself. So get ready to watch me make a ton of stuff, spiral, be really, really tired. Oh, and did I mention I had two weeks to prepare in zero inventory? Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to the vlog. week because I'm going to be doing my first ever market in person, which I did talk about in my last video, in my last vlog, I was prepping for it, but I'm going to be vending at West Coast Craft on March 9th. So that is my little announcement. It was actually on March 2nd and then they moved it because it's going to be super rainy in SF. So it's on March 9th, which is great for me because I spent the past two days nonstop working on stuff for Saturday. Cause I have no inventory and now I have a whole other week to work on stuff and I am so happy because I was like really unsure how this was all gonna get done but now I have a little breathing room but not a lot to be fair so I'm gonna be preparing for that all week but yes good morning guys hi it's currently 7 53 I just showed you the time and I don't know how that happened because I woke up at 7 30 and somehow 20 minutes just passed also if I look tired it's because I am <laughs> I did a little bike and brew moment last night if you will so I met up with a bunch of friends well, not really. I met up with a bunch of people and we did like a 12 mile bike ride and then ended at a bar and had a few drinks, which is like really fun. I love doing it, but I got home kind of late and I didn't eat dinner before. So the longest pause I just took, which I'll cut out. Welcome to another day of creating stuff. I'm so excited and so happy I have more time for this market because I also am making currently a beanie. So far I've made these two which I think are cool. I'm hoping like men will buy these as well as women. Like my boyfriend looks super cute and cool and like the colorful beanie. So I'm hoping like men see the vision because all my clothes are women's clothes. Obviously anyone can wear it, so it doesn't matter, but just like masculine men, you know, I'm hoping that like maybe they'll buy some beanies or something. And this clip is super long, so I do not want to bore you guys anymore. Let's get crafting. Okay, just finished doing some work for my day job. By the way, guys, I have a, literally a full-time job aside from all of this. I I never film like when I'm working because like it's boring but no wonder I'm kind of stressed out and really busy but yeah so I just did some work for my day job and now it's time to start creating let's whip out the knitting machine hey guys so it is very many 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 hours later it's four o'clock you cannot even see my phone right now I don't even know what happened today so after I vlogged that morning clip I did some work for my day job and then I was like let's get creating but then I was like feeling inspired to edit this reel of this top I just made so then I like I filmed that and I edited it and then by that point it was 12 and then uh, it's my dad's birthday so then I went for a walk and talked to him for like an hour and then by that point it was like 2 and then I had to eat breakfast and then at that point it was 2.30 and then I went to the Levi store to pick up pants I bought so now it's fucking 4 o'clock so I'm gonna finally start making stuff for today yes <laughs> half of a mini skirt but now we're gonna go to Taco Bell Cantina you can't even tell it looks like it's white but it's literally look it's blue okay Taco Bell Cantina time
Thursday, February 29th. Happy leap year, guys. We just saw my whole morning. I woke up at six. I seamed together one of the tops for the market and I just wound up so much yarn for the next look. So I think I've already explained this, but I'm basically doing a sleeveless turtleneck, a matching maxi skirt in the same outfit, but with a mini skirt. So I'm doing basically a set in a mini and maxi version in seven different colorways, I believe. So this is gonna be colorway number, I don't even remember what we're on, but this is going to be like the mermaidy cool tone colorway that I'm going with. And I'm gonna start with the maxi skirt one because it takes the longest. So let's just get right into it. I went in with the wrong color. I couldn't see. Guys, it is currently very many hours later. I woke up at 6 a.m. like I showed you. I started seaming some, not seaming, but finishing up two of the sets that I'm gonna be selling. So I have two sets totally finished. That's not enough, obviously, but I spent the whole MFing day making all of these panels on my knitting machine. But my very exciting update is I'm about to make the very last set right now. So I'm doing a mini skirt and a turtleneck set as my last set and my last colorway. <sighs> I'm so excited to be done. Like my neck hurts, my body hurts. So I'm gonna finish the setup now and I'm gonna literally open a bottle of champagne after because I deserve it. I'm so tired. Also, look at the rain. This is perfect knitting machine weather. <music> I just finished all of the panels on that freaking knitting machine. The way that my back hurts so bad. I need to lay it down. Like there's no comfortable position, um, but I am gonna open this champagne because I had it from a bachelorette trip I did in San Diego like a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna open it to celebrate the fact that I fucking busted my ass for like, mom, honestly, not even a week straight. <laughs> I do hard work for one week. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it was really hard, but anyways. Maybe a little more than halfway done with preparing for the market, but I'm very pleased with all the stuff that I've been able to make. I think I'm gonna be able to pull off like around 30 pieces total. Should translate to a pretty full looking rack, which is my goal. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet because my boyfriend's like in a meeting right now, but anyways, let's just open this freaking champagne that I'm sucking at opening for some reason. Does anyone else need to rip off like the whole label just because I think it's like ugly to be half on? Like. I want it all off if it's gonna be half off. This is my trick. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so tired. <sighs> Yay! It didn't explode. Unfortunately, I don't have a champagne glass and I've broken like almost all of my wine glasses, so this is all I have. Cheers! It's good. <laughs> I am just so freaking excited for this market. I'm just so excited to be out in public with like all my clothes and just see what people think about it and sort of like meet people and hopefully build some sort of community in San Francisco. I just know people and exist in public basically. I'm just excited for that. And I really hope that this grows into something bigger, more markets, in person, et cetera, et cetera. I wanna be outside, I wanna communicate with people. And anyway, so I just want this to be an upward step towards a trajectory where I can make stuff for a living, which is all I've ever wanted to do. So I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for being here. The vlog is not over yet, but I am super grateful for you and everyone on Instagram and just anyone who's bought clothes from me. You are making my dreams come true. <laughs> not me crying, just kidding. Um, <laughs> 
Anyways, I'm gonna make dinner now. It is 6.40. I'm gonna make cacio e pepe <laughs> with truffles, like truffle stuff I have. And then I think I'm gonna make a pizza too because I like to do a little pizza pasta thing. And then I think I'm also gonna do roasted Brussels sprouts. So I don't know if I'm gonna show you, but I'll show you when it's done. Love you guys. later from the last clip. I'm not sure how many, but it's currently Wednesday, March 6th. So the market was originally going to be on March 2nd, which was last Saturday. Today's Wednesday. And I was literally running a sweatshop in my house, like grinding so hard to try to finish all that stuff in time. And then my friend texted me a picture that they announced a move and I was like, thank God. So the market was moved a week and it's currently Wednesday. The market's on Saturday, but I've been making a ton of progress. I haven't been vlogging everything just because since I'm making a bunch of the same pieces in different colorways, it's a lot of the same, but I have been vlogging a lot, but I just wanted to update you guys on how much stuff I've done. So behind Behind me, this all sets that I finished. So these are like fully blocked and pretty much done. I just need to tag them and add waist ties. So this is one, two, three, four, five sets right here. And then this is two maxi skirt sets. This is my boyfriend's shirt for some reason. Um, and then um, I just finished blocking this. So that's a sixth one. And then I'm about to finish a seventh one here. This one I'm gonna pick up next. And then I have two more left over there. So I'm almost done getting through my pile. My goal today is to finish all the sets, like finish assembling them. So obviously have to block them. That'll take some time because I only have so many blocking boards. But once I'm done with that, I can make a few more things on the knitting machine that I was like, I'll make them if I have time. And also focus on making beanies because I wanted to make like 10 and I only have two so far. And I think I can do it. Uh, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna finish these sets today by hell or high water and I'm excited. <laughs> Thursday, March 7th, and my market is in two days. So the last clip you saw was me yesterday saying, no matter fucking what, I will finish all these pieces today. Of course I didn't. Literally, when will I learn? But all I had was one set left. So I did two full sets yesterday, which is two maxi skirts and two turtleneck tops. I mean, I could have stayed up late and done the third one, maybe, but I finished the second one at 6.30. I literally spent the whole day doing this. So I finished the second one at like 6.30, literally hadn't eaten all day because when I get really focused on stuff, I literally have a one track mind and I don't stop. And it actually is kind of like stressful and I don't really like it. But yeah, so I finished that at 6.30 and I just did a whole maxi skirt this morning, which you saw some clips of. And it took me about exactly two hours to finish one maxi skirt. And that includes like basically just mattress stitching both sides and then adding like a scallop trim to the hem. So that took two hours. So I finished at 6.30 and I was like, okay, if just one it takes two hours. I haven't eaten dinner. I need to do the dishes. I don't have time really to do anything else. And I was tired because last night I literally fell asleep watching Curb Your Enthusiasm on the couch at like nine o'clock. So um, clearly mama was tired. Anyways, guys, so I'm currently working on my very last piece. And that is this like turtleneck top to match the maxi skirt I just finished. And I am so excited to be done with this portion. Once I finish this panel, the final steps are to block all the pieces. Pieces. I've already blocked like around half of them and then we're gonna just tag them and make waist ties for the skirts and then basically just price them and that's gonna be it once I'm done with this top right now I might jump into trying to make some beanies on my knitting machine because originally I wanted to do a bunch of accessories in the first place and I wanted to do crochet beanies but as you guys have seen the past two weeks has been non-stop working on 
these pieces so i'm not sure how many crochet beanies i can whip out today and tomorrow are the last days i can make stuff because saturday is going to be all market we know that i always overcommit. so like in my head i think i can make 10 beanies i cannot make 10 beanies in two days like please and also by the way renegade is another even bigger market that comes like every six or so months to like sf and la and i think like seattle and chicago so i'm actually going to be doing that as well guys so that is going to be april 6th and 7th that i'm going to be doing renegade so if you guys can't make it to West Coast Craft, definitely come to Renegade next month and come see me. It's such a fun market. I also go to this market like every time it's in town. So that is my little update and I'll just keep you guys updated when the next thing happens. <laughs> hey guys, sorry for the weird angle, but I just finished my last turtleneck top. Let me show you. This bad boy took me about an hour and a half. So goddamn, it takes forever <laughs> to finish these pieces. But um, right now I'm just blocking one of the maxi skirts sorry this is like a chaotic shot but i'm just blocking one of the maxi skirts because now like i told you guys my priority is blocking out all these pieces but i'm officially done uh, like seaming all these panels together i have to obviously still do the finishing touches but i'm feeling really good why do i always look so bad Okay, we're not doing this. We're not doing the pitbull talk right now. I'm gonna keep blocking these, whip them out as much as I can, and I'm gonna jump into making beanies now. So I'll try and show you guys as much as I can. but as you kind of saw the beanie of it all and the scrunchie of it all was a total fail and I just don't have time to be honest like it actually wasn't going that fast either so I am scrapping that and I'm just gonna try to make as many crochet beanies as I can in the next two days <laughs> as well as scrunchies potentially and that's kind of all I have inside of me until Saturday so I would love to have a table full of accessories but uh, we'll see how that goes but I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think it's already way too long probably and I'm gonna pick it up again tomorrow when I'm gonna show you everything I made when I'm done I'm gonna do an everything I made for my first market video where I show you all the pieces on all the accessories so I'm really excited to show you all that and that will be coming very shortly after this video and then I'm gonna vlog the market as well so stay tuned for all of those cute little videos and thanks so much for watching the studio vlog guys I know it was kind of a rough one but your girl is always in chaos so yeah okay thanks so much for watching if you like this video you can like it and subscribe that would be really cute and hot and thanks so much again for being here okay bye